Welcome back. Was this little boy's death an accident or was it murder? Tonight, a new state law could bring prosecutors one step closer to finding answers in a 15 year old cold case. Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam recently signed legislation that was pushed by a local DA. The DA had reopened the investigation into 15 month old Jeffrey Kelton Skaggs death. Our chief investigative reporter Phil Williams first raised questions about it more than a decade ago, and he is still on the case. The new law, which took effect July 1st, clears up concerns about whether the DA even has the right to ask for a second autopsy. It's an autopsy that could answer the question once and for all, what really happened to Jeffrey Kelton Skaggs? I think it's a good thing for the truth to come out. For months, a local DA's request to exhume the body buried here in the Sigma County Cemetery has been clouded by legal uncertainty. Uncertainty that one expert says has been erased by the new law. I don't think this law is going to promote uh, hundreds of more exhumations. But what it will, it, what it will do is uh, bring some justice to a case which has quite literally been buried. Sorry, now I'm one. Where's your emergency? It was here inside this Murray County trailer that Jeffrey Colton Skaggs suffered a fatal blow to the head. Medical examiner Dr. Charles Harlan, who later lost his license for incompetence, ruled it an accident. But our investigation discovered that other experts... We had injuries that didn't match the stories, the multiple stories provided. Disagreed. The child's actual manner of death was a result of non-accidental trauma. Meaning? Meaning that in the judgment of the authors of this article, um, it was a homicide. Murder. It was murder. The DA at the time refused to order a second autopsy. So what about this little boy? What, what if you're wrong, sir? The more we looked at it, the deeper we got into it, the more we realized uh, this is a homicide investigation. New DA Brent Cooper agreed last year to reopen the case, but Kelton's mom refused to go along with a second autopsy. And the DA discovered that because the boy was pronounced dead in an Alabama hospital, then buried in another county, the laws might not allow him to exhume the body. The law was antiquated because most people died in the county where they were killed. But with the new law, Raven believes a judge will eventually allow justice for Jeffrey Kelton Skaggs. What possible reason could you have in not taking a second look? If it was a homicide, the killer could still be at loose and harming someone else. DA Brent Cooper has asked a Murray County judge to order that second autopsy. So far, no hearing has been scheduled. Of course, we'll stay on it and let you know what happens. Phil Williams, News Channel 5 Investigates. Thank you, Phil.